All right, so in this quick video, I'll perform an uh, installation of Harbor. Uh, let's get started. So first, what I need to do is I need to clone virtual machine. Power it on. Then we can SSH into the virtual machine. Obviously not a production deployment, but for lab use case, I think that's fine. So we can scroll over to the Harbor documentation, right, to view the installation process, right. But there is this um, guide that I found on the net. I felt that was really quite good, right. So, um, but we'll just go ahead with the official guide first. So, um, Take a look at the prerequisites, right? So the recommended for CPUs, 8 gigs of RAM, 160 gigs of uh, storage. We need Docker Engine and Docker Compose. So what we'll do is we'll just install Docker first. Okay, so Docker is now running. So we can, next thing to do is to download the Harbor uh, installer. We can go to the GitHub release pages. And I'm gonna go to select the online installer. We're going to untar this under then next unpack the installer. The next thing we need to do is to configure the uh YAML file, right? So CD harbor copy uh harbor yaml the template to harbor yaml template yaml ci harbor.yaml so this gives us all the configuration that we need to do so i'm just going to call this um, registry.wstm.local registry demo and we need to specify the certificates so we need to create some certificates so let's go ahead and do that i will paste the commands in the description. So first thing we need to do is to use OpenSSL to generate public private key. We're based in Singapore, 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 WSKM, uh, demo, and star.wskm.local. Right, I'm going to create a self sign, a private self sign certificate for, for a wildcard, but you can, for example, use. Um, registry demo.wskn.local if you wanted to. I'm just going to create a mail card. No email, no password, no company name. That's it. What I typically like to do is I also like to create a, a version 3 extension file. Right, so I've got a command here as well. 
then I can edit the V3 extension. So I'll just change the subject alternative names to maybe um, WSKM starter. And just remove the comments from here. So this allows us to create a certificate with uh, subject alternative names. Then what I'll do is I'll then you know create the actual certificate. Right. So our certificates are now here. I like to move it into a directory. So everything is inside the certs uh, folder. And we're using root cover slash certs. So what we can then do is to edit the installation file. And specify the path. And once that is done, if we go back to the documentation. We need to make some changes. We need to actually convert the CRT file to a dot cert file so that uh, you know Docker actually recognizes it. So we can go back to the search folder and copy this command. Then make changes. So I'm just going to call this wskm.local.cert and the in file is going to be the server.crt. Okay, then we also need to create a, uh, the appropriate folders, right? So what we can do is copy this line. I'm just going to make directory with parents. Then I'm going to change the yourdomain.com to the actual domain that I'm going to be using. So in your environment, when you do the deployment, do not use wskn.local because you use the one that is specific for your environment. And FQD and is specific for your environment. Okay. So once I have that, then what I can do is I can copy server.cert. Sorry, write the wskn.local.cert to this particular folder. And I will also need to copy the key. So server.key to wskn.local.key. And lastly, uh, you know, just for good measure, we will want to make sure that this operating system actually trusts the uh, self sign cert. So what we'll do is we'll copy server.cert. Uh, over into the PKI uh, CA source directory. So it's slash uh, ATC slash PKI slash um, CA trust source anchors. Right, then run the command update CA trust. So once that is done, uh, we can then you know, perform the installation of the uh, of Docker, right? So off of Harbor. So once we have uh, configured a YAML file, uh, we set the host name and HTTP as an attribute, what we can do is to run the prepare command. All right, so once this is done, then we can actually perform the install, which is uh, slash install. I like to include the with 3 because this provides some uh, basic security 
probability scanning for the container images. Right, so once you see this, uh, this means that Harbor was successfully installed. You can look for the IP address. You scroll over to the browser. You can then log into Harbor. So if you see the certificate, it's actually the self censored that we created earlier and the default. Uh, username and password is uh, admin harbor12345. Okay, so this is essentially a basic install of harbor. This is not production grade. If you want something a little bit more production grade, then um, you want to deploy harbor with high availability on an existing Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we can use help for that. So perhaps I'll make a video uh, in the future. Right, thanks for watching.